Interesting. Excuse me a moment. You've heard, I suppose, that there's been an adjustment. It's a one door closes, another opens sort of thing. Yes, the story's been told, but the truth of that story isn't fixed. Far from it. You see, a story can change a great deal when told from a uh, different perspective. A chance to turn back the clock, walk in different shoes, make fresh choices. Perhaps take a few risks this time. Raise a little hell. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. No special treatment. You got to do exactly what I say. So I got to do what you tell yep. me? Yep. So you're like my boss? Kind of, yeah. You going to pay me? <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like the best around new people, whatever. Oh, shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. I'm just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me? Want to crack a cold one with Every second. 
Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Way less needy. <laughs> so, first dive, you and me? I... If you can keep up this time. Yeah, of course. The whole reason we're out here is to spend time together. Well, I think it'll be perfect. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's see those hot picks. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive kit. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. Well, hot diggity dong. Look at this. Alex! Come here! I think we got something. Yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck? Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? Guys, look, I think we got to listen to our experienced, beautiful, smart, and beautiful captain here. If she says we should do things Connie, the right- please, I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? <laughs> No, 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 it's not, I, I, I'm just saying she's right, not because she's beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful, but that's like a coincidence. She's the captain. Look, we paid for this dive, generously, we're diving. You're the client, but if anything goes wrong. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, sis. Hey, Connie, how's it going? Mind if I help you out a little? One, why are you acting so weird? And two, why are you offering to help for like the first time ever in your life? Look, I was just thinking it might make a good first impression on the lovely Fliss. Okay, now three, don't call her the, she's a person, not a thing. And four, do you ever even think about anything else? Hey, lady's got a thirst and I'm here to quench it. And what's with all the numbers? Oh yeah, I forgot. 
Bro's afraid of math, and that's five. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Hey, she's all right. She's just a bit of a stickler for the rules. The word is bit. Hey, look, she's not gonna be down there with you. She can't stop you from doing shit. Connie, you gotta keep it in your pants around Fliss. Just cool it with all your desperate pickup bullshit. Uh, desperate? Look, I could charm the fish from the sea, sister. Just you wait. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Great. I'm gonna kick back and uh, enjoy the sights for a little while. And by enjoy the sights, I mean I'm gonna ogle our captain like a grade A creep. Yeah, I got it. Gross. Hey, at least I'm honest. Still gross. I think this might be bogus. Please do not fondle machinery you are not equipped to understand. You might want to just let it do its thing. Oh, Captain, my Captain. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys got to respect that. At least you showed me a little respect. Even if you're the only one in the group. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. My sis can be a little, uh, intense. Uh, that's one way to put it. There are laws here and customs. You gotta respect that. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Oh, I got experience. In all the right places, if you catch me. Yeah, I caught it. And I tossed it back. You don't seem to give up easily, do you? For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. You know, you're even more intoxicating when you're angry and I am ready to get wasted. You have literally never spoken to a woman before in your life, have you? No. Hmm. It shows. Well, hello. What's this? Hello, locker. What you got inside of you? Interesting. What's this now? Fancy. Good on you, Alex. How you feeling? Shouldn't have had that beer. Dudes, tanks are ready when you are. No sweat, Braddy Shack. We'd be hanging up top. Should you care to join? <laughs> yeah, I'll be up as soon as I <clears throat> stop puke heaving. 
Wow, I can't unhear that term. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clownfishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. How's it going? Are those two going in or what? Look, I know the weight is interminable, but soon, soon it'll just be you and me. Out of the frying pan? All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. The turret, we can get in through there. dangerous uh ladies first <laughs> can i just take a second to say holy shit alex we did it i mean can you believe it it's a dream come true <laughs> <laughs> let's not waste any time not exploring go 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 Not to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord.
something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that. Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. Bullet holes, all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. holding something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Want to go first? <laughs> ah, cheap piece of shit. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Sorry, I've got enough on my plate for the moment. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye.
weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. I'm serious. You can't fuck around with this stuff, Conrad. Do it for real or don't do it. Yeah, totally. I got you. Serious. Yeah, sure. Enjoy your vacation. Watch me. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than you. Boom! Game, set, match. Uh-huh. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey. It's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Why do I keep these around?
What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? You see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Let's go. No! I guess they didn't need the money. You are an idiot. What? They left, didn't they? That doesn't make you any less of an idiot. You got a funny way of saying thank you, Conrad. You're a piece of work, Conrad. I'm not all work, I'm a little play, too. Are you trying to flirt with me? Is it working? I don't even know what it is. Well, when you think of something, I'll just be over here taking in the view, flirting up a storm. Hashtag wink. Okay, I think they're on their way back up. And I was getting used to it just being you and me. We need to light the grill. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me. You can call me Grill Capitan. You may light the grill, but I will never call you that. Fliss, I I'm sorry. You know you can think before you do something stupid, right? It's an option. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. 
Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. <laughs>